In our first story, the National Democratic Congress Chairman Samuel Fusampo has been interrogated by the Criminal Investigation, Investigations Department of the Ghana Police Service after he was picked up Tuesday. The arrest comes after Mr. Amphofo's refusal to honor an invitation to report to the Director General of the CID, Mamiya Tiwa Adodankwa, to assist in investigations into the spate of kidnappings and arson in the country. According to the correspondence, giving, inviting him, a suspect accused him of being behind the kidnappings in the country, a situation which informed the police to invite him to assist with their investigation. Standing by right now is Ernest Menu at the police CID with the very latest. Ernest, what can you tell us about the detention of the NDC national chairman? Yes, uh, easy. So as you can see in the background, heavy, heavy, heavy police presence here. Um, we have some of the party uh, leadership, party leaders who have just walked out. Some of them have been standing here actually for a while because they've been denied access to the CID headquarters. We know that some of us on Buffalo is in there. Uh, just a while ago, we spoke to the national organizer of the NDC, uh, uh, Mr. Akamba, Joshua Akamba, who tells us that uh, he, they are suspicious is that the uh, police uh, would not grant Mr. Ambofo bail tonight. And so we have, uh, you know, scores of the uh, party supporters here uh, who have come to throw their support, uh, their weight behind the national chairman Samuel Ofosuan uh, and they are demanding that he be granted bail tonight. They say this is persecution. That is how they describe what is happening here as political persecution and they want their chairman released. And so that is what is happening here. Essentially we have the lawyers of Mr. Apofo uh, in there with him. Uh, they've been there since about uh, 3, 30, 4 a.m. there about when he was picked up, sent to his home for some interrogation and then uh, brought here to the CID uh, head office. Let us try and uh, speak to uh, some of the party officials who are here. I see uh, the Honorable Member of Parliament here. Uh, you were here earlier today. Uh, I, I realized that you struggled getting access into the CID premises. Uh, were you allowed in there? No. You weren't? No. Uh, what is the information you are picking up as to? Nothing. Um, I do, are we sure if Mr. Ambufu will be granted bail? Have you received any communication from the lawyers? No. But we see your, a lot of your party supporters here. Um, any word, of course, yeah, you uh, Rightly so. You, you think that it is okay for them to mass up here? Yes. Uh, looking at the temperature, the political yeah. temperature. Now. Yes. Any word of caution for them? No, they should come and give support to our national chairman. Okay, so this is actually yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, a, a call okay. from the leadership of the party to for the supporters okay. to throng here to support the national chairman. What I'm saying okay. is that we need support for our chairman. But, but the police have done uh, what it seem, uh, what they think is the right thing. He's yeah, been invited. Should, then they should let him go. Well, he was invited, he declined, and now they've secured the warrant I, to I pick him that, up. I think that's yes. So once they have taken the information, they should let him go. Well, we, we can't be sure if they have finished with it. And so that is why perhaps party supporters so it's must not be here. It's up to them. It's up to them. Uh, let, let, let me speak to another uh, official here. Hello, good evening, sir. Um, a lot of your party supporters are here. Uh, this may not be healthy. Healthy. Uh, you know, the political temperature. Uh, this could well, I'm going to ask Akufuado. You go ask Akufuado why he's instructed them to do what they are doing. Well, also, the brief words from the leadership uh, of the party there. A lot of them, you know, do not want to speak anymore on this issue. Uh, we still have a lot of the party uh, supporters uh, over here, and they are bent on staying until they have their national chairman uh, released. And so, is it, that is really what is happening over here. Uh, there has been some instruction for them not to speak, but let me speak now to uh, former DC of Ketu. Uh, uh, good evening, sir. Welcome to join East Prime. Yeah, thank you. How are you? The police have only invited Mr. Ampo for, uh, for some interrogation. Why have people masked up here? Well, you may see it as just an invitation, but I don't see it so. I believe there is some kind of mischief and plan just to detain him, which is very bad. Yes. Uh, uh, but but, but uh, invitation by the police is a normal thing, and so why do you read such meanings into it? He was invited, uh, he declined, and now he's been arrested. Probably so, isn't it? Well, that is how you see it, but I know very well that when I heard the CID boss saying that she knew 
where the girls were. So why worry the national chairman of the NDC? Once she knew where she, the, the girls are, why worry us? And don't they know where Owusu Bempa is? They know why is he not invited? Why haven't they invited him? Owusu Bempa said he knows where the girls are, unless the president, who can tell him to tell where the, the, the girls are. Why are they worrying our national chairman? It's very unfortunate. Why do they want to plunge this country into chaos? Why? Why? Well, what could be chaotic is uh, your party supporters, you know, massing up here in their numbers. The numbers keep growing. This may escalate into something else. Well, we have rules that must be followed by the people. But you don't force the people to follow bad rules. If the current president, when he was in opposition, who say all die be die, who arrested him? Canada Japan declared war in this country. Who worried him like they are disturbing our chairman this way? Why? So, well, some of us don't understand why this kind of um, uh, uh, arrest. We call it arrest because he walked in here to report. So how long are you going to be here? Well, only God knows. All right. Uh, so that's the former DC for K2 South. Is it, that is what is happening uh, right now. Uh, um, so party supporters are still here. Uh, we'll be here to bring you up to speed on everything that happens, everything that transpires here at the uh, headquarters of the CID. And you can see behind me some agitation uh, still ongoing by the party supporters. And All so right. that is the latest from here. Uh, and Izzy, I've just spotted the uh, national organizer of the NDC. Uh, I don't know if you would try and give us a word, uh, uh, because he says he suspects that uh, the, the, the national chairman may not be granted bail. Uh, Mr. Kamba, yeah. thank you very much for joining us on Join News Prime. Yeah. Uh, you, you say your suspicion is that he may not be granted bail. Listen, this is a man who willingly submitted himself to the orders of the court. If you remember, this is an issue that he said he will not report to the police. The police then go to court, secure a warrant, and after securing the warrant, the national chairman heard of it. They called him, he said, listen, yes, if I'm sure of it coming from a competent court of jurisdiction, I will avail myself. So the chairman accordingly availed himself to the processes. The lawyers have been sitting at Onlita, Kekre Samoa, Edu Juri Tamaklo, Adawudu, all the lawyers, uh, Maria Tabu, Apia, all of them, they were assured that the chairman would only last for a, a, an hour. Because obviously if he's caught, he says, listen, I respect the court. I will not flout anything. But the police, and as long as the police was already doing an interview, an investigation, that is in court. I will not avail myself to that. And I think that it's harassment. But in as long as it's an issue before the court, I will honor that. So I'm coming. So he came. We were assured that in one hour we should be out of this place. From what we are told and from the information that we are gathered, gathering, order from above says no. So Mr. Ampafo will spend the night here? I believe so. Do we know exactly where he was picked up? I won't tell you where he was picked up, but he availed himself to uh, the processes. Um, if you know, the police invited him. The elders of the party, he didn't say, the elders of the party issued a press statement. And if you care to know, the national chairman is the leader of our party. So the elders of the party who advises the party says, you, you came to cover the press conference, that he will not avail himself to the police. But then they proceeded to court. The chairman said, listen, I would, I would respect the court processes. So I will avail myself to the court. So he comes here, according to their arrest warrant, to search and all that. He availed all that, that they needed to. He complied with it. And he's so calm. You know our chairman is so calm with it. I mean, he's not, he's nothing. And after that, order from above will release based on... As far as his uh, arrest today is concerned, do you know if charges have been pressed against him already? I'm sure if you ask me that, I'm not a lawyer. So the lawyer, his lawyer should be talking about that. You have I'm, been in touch I'm, with I'm, Yes, I've been in touch with the lawyers. I'm only, I'm only in communication with my party people. I am only telling my party people through your medium that this is exactly what is happening. 
and that there are difficulties. And, and finally, we see a lot of them massing up here. This may not be healthy, Mr. Akamba. It, it could escalate into something else. That is the best is yours to guess. We live it. We live it. And the, that is Ghana, what Ghana has become. The president has been given a mandate. He's gradually and gradually sinking this country. He can do it better than this tension. Day in, day out, tension of kidnapping, tension of crime, tension of that. You don't need this more tension again. We need to stabilize this country. Which is why uh, I would think that you would urge your already, supporters to already, go already, home. Already, I am sure that I wish that my supporters sleep here with them. The MPP showed it. They showed that force. They showed that might when they were in opposition. What are our people doing? I, I expect that my people should show solidarity. This is a whole institution. The institution is unpopular. That's the institution. That's our national chairman. He chairs the meetings of our party. He's currently leading us to celebrate the 27th anniversary of our party. So you cannot say that we should not. Thank you very much. Uh, Joshua Kamba is national organizer of the opposition NDC. Israel, that is the latest from here, the CID headquarters. All right, thank you very much, uh, NS Menu, for bringing us up to speed with the developments there at the police CID headquarters. I have in the studio uh, with me the uh, deputy head of our political desk, uh, Malik Dab, who is also the editor of my Joy Online. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Malik. So let's uh, get a few things clear. We hear a, a number of references made to. Uh, the kidnappings of the three girls in Takradi, which they believe, some supporters or some executives of the NDC believe is the reason why the national chairman has been invited. But is, that is not exactly what the police said. No, I think there's a certain confusion of thought as, 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 as far as this arrest is concerned and the invitation is concerned. The matters relating to the, the, the three girls is distinct and separate from this arrest. What the police said in that the May letter which they sent inviting Mr. Ampofu to appear before them was that there were a number of things. Kidnappings, they had information that in, in connection with the investigations into the kidnappings going on, his name had been mentioned. And even if it was true that the police knew where the girls were, that didn't derogate from the fact that if his name was mentioned, he was... Um, a reasonable suspect. The other reason why the police were inviting him was that he had been, they had been told by persons that they were interrogating as part of their investigations that he was instigating fire in the country, um, market fires and all kinds of fires at public places. It was because of those two things that the police invited him. And of course, we know the story that after the police wrote a letter inviting him in May, the National Council of the Party then issued a statement which was communicated by a spokesperson who said that he will not honor that investigation. And he was exercising his constitutional right by the constitution of this country. Every citizen has a right whether or not to submit yourself to police investigation. The police have a right to, inv to arrest you if they do believe that they have sufficient basis to do so. Otherwise, if the police invite you, you have a constitutional right to turn down that inv invitation. And that was what he did. He exercised a constitutional right not to go. The police, of course, also exercise the powers they have to go and seek and obtain a warrant with which to arrest him, which they have done. Now, how does all of this connect with the tape, the purported tape in which uh, he is heard to have made some comments at a, a, a meeting of the party. Again, which is one of the confusion that we have uh, saddled with in respect of this matter. There are two distinct matters. The matter relating to the tape, which is what he is before court for, is separate and distinct from the matters relating to the abductions and the fires for which he's been arrested in the recent case. The first case, when that tape came out, and the tape came out in February, late February this year, at which he was reported to have said, amongst other things, that um, he would now endorse insulting the Electoral Commission chairperson and the chairman of the Peace, National Peace Council. Again, he was reported to have said that they would deliberately cause some tension and create problems with the police. It was in respect of that that he appeared before court, and he's charged with threat of assault and conspiracy to commit assault. Those are the two charges he's faced with, himself and a deputy communications director of the party. Now, when he was arrested in respect of that, note that the party uh, lawyers went to court and they are pleading alibi in respect of the deputy communications director. They said that he was not at this meeting. 
The reason why he was part of this was that after the tape emerged, he granted our sister station, Adam, an interview in which he said that the matters that Mr. Ampofu is reported to have said in that tape are matters that are dear to the heart of the party and that he spoke the truth. That anyone who did not believe or was, was peeved but the things that he said should go and bend the sea. It is because of that that he is part of that case which is being brought against. So there are two of them in that case. As I said, that case is separate from this one. This one, the police wrote a letter to him saying they have information and information they gathered as part of their investigation into kidnappings happening in this country that he was one of the persons behind the kidnappings. Of course, he has denied this. The party has denied that. I have to state that even in respect of the tape, the communications director of the party said that at the time the voice sounded like him, but the tape was doctored. And he complained about national security bugging their party yeah. meetings and yeah. gathering all of that information to use them for dishonorable purposes. But that case is separate from this one. All right. This one, they say their information is that he's involved in the kidnappings and, 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 and the fires, the market fires going on, and they want him for investigations. That is why he's before them today. They went for a warrant from the court. We know that the party communications director, Kakare Samoa, issued a statement three days ago saying they have information that this has happened and that they will arrest him in a manner which embarrasses him. He warned that if that were to happen, it will plunge the country into chaos. All right. Let's go back to the police CID headquarters. We have uh, Chrissy Parker Wilson, who is in within the compound of the police CID headquarters. And uh, he has seen Ofosu Ampofo, the national chairman of the NDC. And uh, he has some information to share with us. Now, uh, uh, Chrissy Parker Wilson, what, more, what can you add to what Ernest has told us already? You, I believe, you've seen the national chairman of the NDC. Yes, Israel, I have seen the national chairman of the NDC, Mr. Ampofo. He walked up briefly, and he quite, he looked quite calm. I mean, he's really not perturbed with what happened. In fact, I, my sources within the party uh, tells me that the national chairman himself had conditioned himself for whatever was, was going to happen uh, this evening, whether he's going to be detained or not. So he actually requested for some of his belongings or clothes in his house which, of course, as with him here, are the CID headquarters. So whether or not they're going to detain him, he is not perturbed about that development. But one of the things I can tell you is that his lawyers are working assiduously uh, to secure him. Bill, in fact, I spoke to one of them uh, who tells me that um, it's it, 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 it been difficult, but they are trusting that by the end of the day, they'll be able to get him, Bill, because they've been following the deputy CID boss to his office about four times. Uh, Mr. Before is in the conference room, and then the opposite direction is the office of the, CID, the deputy CID boss. And for about four times, I've seen his lawyers uh, rush to the room with the deputy CID boss uh, for some minutes and to go back to the conference room for about four times. So they're telling me that all are, are process to ensure that they, they secure bail for uh, their, their client. That is Mr. Samuel for some All right, thank you very much, uh, Kwesi Parker Wilson. And uh, Kwesi Parker Wilson and Ernest Menu, they are both at the police CID headquarters and they will uh, give us updates as and when it becomes necessary. But Malik Dabu is uh, with me here in the studio. Now, Malik, one of the things we've heard some of the NDC executives we've spoken with uh, who have converged at the police CID headquarters is uh, comments that suggest that they are actually inviting over the members of the party to converge at the uh, police headquarters. That doesn't quite bode well for the situation we have there. Unfortunately, that's a history we have been saddled with. This happens all the time. Anytime a political leader is being taken through the due process of law, you have parties mobilizing. Remember the days of trials involving former First Lady Nana Kunidu Edgeman Rawlings and people mass at the court beating drums. Uh, I covered Nana Dakwa's trial as well when Nana Dakwa alleged that former President Rawlings had touched his house. He was arrested and he was being prosecuted. Party supporters are massed there, and there were two different party supporters, one group lunging forward to attack him, another group protecting him. So these things do happen all the time. When uh, uh, um, Kokwanyu who was arrested, um, Kennedy at Japan was arrested for the comments that a former DCE from the Volta region, when he was talking to Enes uh, Koyomenu, made a rather incorrect statement that when he made, he, did, he said what was 
declared what was seen to be declaration of war that nothing happened. He was arrested. He was prosecuted. He yeah. was charged with treason. That case was thrown out because the court came to the conclusion that the matters for which he was arrested, the comments that he made, did not amount to treason. And if, if, you, if you know, treason is the highest crime in this republic. So he was charged with the highest crime. The sentence is death. And the court was of the opinion that the things that he altered could not have been stretched to constitute treason. Right. So he was arrested. And when he was arrested, we saw similar things. We saw party supporters amassed at the CID headquarters as well. Each time he was being taken to court, you had people amassing there as well. So this is our history. Unfortunately, we have over the period not given the police the leeway to do their job. And the police themselves, as a result of a certain level of influences by political actors, regardless of who is in power, the police have not been able to assert their authority. The politicians always politicize actions of the police, and they always have to justify their actions by amassing these party supporters All to right. try and counter actions of the police. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Malik Dabu. Malik Dabu is deputy head of the political desk here at Join News. He's also editor of myjournalline.com. You're watching Join News Prime, and our big story for this evening happens to be the detention of the national chairman of the opposition, NDC. He's in police custody in connection with kidnappings and fire outbreaks in part of the country we will continue to update you with the development at the police CID headquarters but still I